G'day. In today's video, I've got an Alienware R15 oh, R4. It is Windows 11 compatible by the processor, but it's not Windows 11 compatible by Alienware. Alienware slash Dell mentions this is not supported, and I've gone to reinstall it. I've got it put onto a recovery USB here, and I cannot get it to find the SanDisk M.2 SATA. And I've been scratching my head as to why. I've been downloading the Intel chipset drivers, and I've discovered, I think, the dilemma that I've had is this option right here. Right now it's running in RAID by default. So if you've got an Alienware laptop trying to install Windows 11 and it's not detecting your drive even with the chipset drivers, it's potentially running on RAID even though it's a single hard drive. So if I go to SATA operations, change that to HCI, and go OK. Da -da -da, changing may prevent your operating system from booting. Perfectly fine. I am OK with that. Now from here, I'm going to boot back up to here, and let's see if we'll detect the SanDisk 128 gig model. So we've booted up, just make sure the settings are right, I'll go install now, and let's see where we get to. Okay, man. There we go. Accept, next, custom, and bingo. I'm now seeing it. So if I delete the petitions that aren't needed, it should be on partition or disk zero. Bingo. Disk unalloc uh, unalloc unallocated disk space. There we go, there's our 128 gig drive. And that's my USB installer and the storage folder I've got on it. If I go next, from here, we're now installing as we should. Hope that helps you with your Windows 10 or possibly Windows 11 install on your Alienware. Bye.